Well, last night at the Miss Universe pageant, words kind of got in the way for one beauty queen. Her rambling answer is making headlines today, and Brooke Anderson has the really big news, the big win for Miss USA. USA! Yes, Olivia Culpo, the 20-year-old Boston University student, is the first American to take the crown in more than a decade. But her win was not without a minor slip during the evening gown competition. She looks like a jewel. Whoops. But she handled it with such grace that you almost had to look twice to catch the slight stumble. Olivia wasn't alone. During last week's Miss Universe pageant prelims, Miss China slipped twice. Sometimes a shiny floor, high heels, and nerves can mean problems for pageant beauties like Miss Guyana. Guyana's nickname growing up was Rocky. Was it now? She's always been a fighter for hope and courage. Yes, stumbles and falls are no strangers to beauty pageants. Sometimes even the host has two left feet. But last night, the blunders went beyond slips and falls. Second runner-up Miss Venezuela tripped over her question. If you could make a new law, what would it be and explain why? Now, with an interpreter there, Miss Venezuela could have answered in Spanish, but she didn't. For example, I am a surfer, and I think that the, the best way that I can take is the wave that I wait for it. So please do our only uh, low that we can do. Thank you, Vegas. And thank you, Miss Venezuela. And we can't forget Caitlin Upton, Miss Teen South Carolina. In 2007, she was asked why some Americans could not find America on a map. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as. Now the Miss Universe crown rests firmly on the head of last night's winner. That hasn't always been the case. And all those ladies can rest assured they will be able to relive their victories and their blunders on YouTube for the rest of their lives. In all seriousness, congratulations to our new Miss Universe. And listen to this, for the Miss Rhode Island contest just last year, she wore a rented $20 dress with a hole in it. So Chris, she's come a long way since that one.